What's happening, everyone? We are back for some more BTS today. Specifically, we're going to be looking at our boy JK on Jimmy Fallon. If you're new to my channel, my name is Max. I'm a communication skills coach. And what I do on this channel is I look at all different types of people's communication skills and I give you my thoughts. And that's what we're going to be doing today with our boy JK. Thank you for coming back to the show. There he is. Uh, first of all, since the last time you were on our show, BTS has been nominated for five Grammys. Uh, <laughs> Your single, Seven, made history by being the fastest song in history to reach one billion streams. One billion. Uh, a few weeks ago, you replaced yourself on Spotify's list of most streams. He looks super happy and super comfortable. I mean, that's my very first impression. He just looks like he's right at home. I don't really see any real nerves with him. And one of the signs that I'm getting is him just kind of like grabbing the album and kind of like not being hesitant to take control over his space. Not being afraid to move around and look at Jimmy's card. And it almost feels like he's owning the environment, right? He's not like constricted. He's not timid. He's loose and looking around and engaging with the environment. And I think that's definitely a sign of his immense comfort here. I have news for you. I have news for you that I don't even know if you know this yet. This just happened an hour ago. Your single seven just became platinum right now. Come on. That's crazy. Come on now. Just Come on. I like how JK hasn't said a word yet. <laughs> the dude hasn't said a word, but it doesn't seem awkward at all. You guys notice that? When we see someone who's really comfortable in a space, it isn't awkward if they're not speaking or they're not saying anything. So another sign that Jungkook is just supremely comfortable here. Outside of music, what do you do uh, for fun? I think it's mm, pretty ordinary like many people. Like sometimes I spend my whole, t whole day in bed <laughs> or Cooking. Ooh, cooking. Working out. Yeah. <laughs> it's great to hear him speak English. Again, another sign of his comfort. He's not rushing through his answers here. He's taking his time. I think. He doesn't seem rattled or flustered in any way. Again, really a sign of his comfort here. His comfort within himself, his comfort on national television in America. I think the more JK becomes comfortable with himself, the more people are going to start really appreciating his personality and his character because you really see those real sides of him come out. The silliness, the goofiness, the lightness, the depth, the wisdom. We get to see all that when someone's a little bit more comfortable with themselves. And you're really seeing that with him. A microwave. I always worry that it will explode. What are you talking about? Well, when I was young, <laughs> yeah. I used to be afraid, but you kidding? still afraid. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? Why are you afraid? I don't know. Yeah. Boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, but nothing, nothing's gonna happen. No, nothing's gonna happen. He's trying, man. He's doing a really good job. He seems completely at ease with what he knows and what he's doing. Like, he's just okay with where he's at. I think that's sort of what I'm getting with Jungkook. It's like, he's okay with where he's at. He doesn't feel like he needs to do more. He doesn't feel like he needs to be better. And here, I'm kind of sensing that by the way he's communicating. Doesn't seem to be bothered by the fact that he can't express himself the exact same way as he'd express himself in Korean. Maybe that's the big change that a lot of people have seen from Jungkook in the past to Jungkook now. It seems like he doesn't put the same pressure on himself to be perfect. Sometimes you're cooking. Yeah. But this thing that made me laugh, this is my favorite thing that you did. Uh, you fell asleep. <laughs> you, fell, you fell asleep. Just as I was saying earlier, and I do think that perhaps all of these hours spent with ARMY, sleeping in front of ARMY, really kind of showing himself to ARMY in a real way, 
I think that's probably really helped him become more comfortable with himself because he said, you know what, I can be my complete self and I'm still being accepted by my fan base. Even when I'm stupid or goofy or quirky or reveal that I don't have all my shit together. In fact, they embrace me even more. You fell asleep and just slept for 45 minutes and everyone, (laughs) six million people tuned in to watch you sleep. That's a global pop star right there. I love it. I love how the higher ups at Weverse didn't like cut the camera. They kind of just let it roll for 45 minutes. Great cover. By the way, look at those abs. Yeah, I mean, it's awesome. That's the thing about JK and his communication. He's totally open to taking the conversation into all these different places. He's the opposite of rigid. Okay, you want to joke around, you want to take it here, he can take it here, he can take it to the sky, he can take it to the ground. There's a real lightness to him, there's a, like a fluidity to him almost. Like, you can easily see this conversation getting a little bit more deep. You can see this conversation being in that same breath, playful. And that's the comfort that we're seeing from him. He doesn't need to have things structured. Because when you're comfortable with yourself, it doesn't really matter where the conversation goes. It doesn't really matter what side of his personality gets exposed. He's okay if he doesn't know every word in English because he's okay with himself. So he can go and take it to all these different places. Yeah, if you need an opening act, I can do two or three songs. I can, I can. Please, yeah. Uh, like, I think JK is more of an introvert in that way, in the sense that, you know, he comes in and he kind of assesses the environment first. Like, JK is a watcher. He watches you, he listens to you. And then he sort of responds to the environment at hand, and he's happy responding in a multitude of different ways. Kind of like assesses first, analyzes first, and then kind of responds. Nice. I love how he just finishes so calmly, just kind of switches from speaking very comfortably right back to listening to Jimmy. As in, he was okay with his response. Wasn't second guessing it, wasn't questioning himself at all. Is there a little- you know, Jungkook moved his eyes when Jimmy moved back. Like, he's, he's watching Jimmy's expressions quite closely. So like I said before, he's kind of reactive to certain situations socially. And you can tell that he's got a good sense of Jimmy's energy. He's got a good sense of Jimmy's personality. He kind of knows how to play off of him. Like JK can sense that Jimmy wants to connect. Jimmy likes connecting. He knows that Jimmy kind of likes that validation. <laughs> He's the man. He's the man, Jungkook. So smooth, so cool. You gotta love the boy. Guys, right now, I'm going to watch his performance on Jimmy Fallon of Standing Next to You. If you want to watch that, plus my uncut reaction and analysis to the interview that we just watched, you can go straight to my Patreon page. I've included the link in my description below. Other than that, appreciate you being here, and I'll catch you very soon. Peace.